Hi, everybody. Um, really excited to read to you today. So uh, today we are going to have another Skippy John Jones book. Uh, this one is Cirque du Soleil. I know for many of you students, I've read this to you before, but I know that you really enjoy Skippy John Jones, so I hope you enjoy this one. All right, we're going to go ahead and get things set up here. All right, Skippy John Jones, Cirque du Soleil by Judy Shackner. So remember, Skippy John is a Siamese cat, but he thinks he's a chihuahua. And whenever he goes into his closet, he loves to go on adventures. And this time, he goes to a circus. So Skippy John Jones was a real high-wire Henry. And that made his mama as worried as a worm in a wading pool. Oh, my fleas, wailed Mama Junebug Jones. Come down from that wire before you break all your bones. He can't hear you, sang his sisters, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo, because Skippy's up in a squirrely world. The girls were right. The kitty boy was performing tail-tingling tricks on the telephone wire above them. That's amazing, gushed the girls. He should join the circus. Circus, berserkus, groaned Mama. I'm calling the fire department. Fire department, repeated Jilly Boo. Skippy's not on fire. He's on a wire. But before June Bug Jones could press a button, the kitty boy did a triple bit, triple spin backflip dive right into Mama's apron pocket. That was really good for a chihuahua, said Juju B. The word is Chihuahua, said Mama, frazzled, and he is not that. Skippy John Jones is, a, Jones is a Siamese cat. Then she lugged her catch of the day back to his room for a timeout and a big talk. What do you think you were doing up there, you and those squirrels, on a wire in midair? What if you tripped and fell on your head? You'd have to spend months in a hospital bed. Then as Junebug Jones potted her hives, she let the truth slip out about cats and nine lives. I wish we had nine, but we only have one. So think about that, my Siamese son. Then she closed the door. The kitty boy was thinking all right about bouncing on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I don't have nine lives. So what's the big deal? Hey, did I just see flies? Indeed he did, and he chased one over to his mirror. And do you remember what he sees in the mirror? That's right, because he thinks he's a chihuahua. Where he ate that bug. Holy snackito, claimed the kitty boy. Love dim crunchies. Then he looked into the mirror, and using his very best Spanish accent, he said, If I have but one life to live, muchacho. Let me live as a chihuahua. In less time than it takes a flea to fly to Florida, Skippy John Jones put together a fine costume while he sang in a muy, muy soft voice. Oh, my name is Skippito Frosquito, and I'm one handsome daredevilito. I'm physically fit, every part, every bit, just right for a circus puchito. In the meantime, over in the sewing nook, Mama was attempting to have a sensible conversation with the girls. Where's Jilly Boo's tutu, asked Mama. The Chihuahua has the tutu, replied Jujubee. Whatever for, asked Mama. Because Chihuahuas wear tutus, said Jezebel. And cows wear moo-moos, added Jujubee. And boo-boos wear band-aids, continued Jezebel. And I need a nap moaned Mama, but the, Chilu the Chihuahua wasn't thinking about tutus, moo-moos, or boo-boos. He was thinking about flying through the air with the greatest of fleas, just like a dog in a flying trapeze. Until thump, he planted his paws in a perfecto landing on the turf outside the Cirque du Soleil shouted his amigos, los chimichangos. Hola, hollered 
back Skipito Fresquito, the great acrobatito, in his with to his barking buddies. Hold your ponies, Papito, declared Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. Have you grown a bigote? No, I didn't grow a mustachito, answered the gatito. It's just part of my costume. Bueno, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, because we need you to grow something mucho mas importante. But what can be more important than a mustache, muchachos? asked Capito. Los musculos, said, said all the papitos. Not the lumpitos, gigantitos, declared Scapito. Oh, si, sí, muchacho, said Poquito Tito, the muscles. Then Don Diego pulled an old circus poster right out of his right ear and let it unroll. Now do you get it, dude? Oh, I get it all right, said Scapito. It means I'm the low dog on the totem pole. This made the chihuahuas twist and shout. Oh, yes, that's right, Skipito. Your cabeza is just what we need, oh. And your muscles must grow just in time for the show, or else we will all crumble Then all the perritos snuck under the skirts of the big top. First, the muchachos tippy-toed by the caballista practicing on her pony. Then they slipped past the payos... Payaso putting his paper popping puppy through his paces. But it wasn't until they reached the elefante that the papitos had to worry. Watch your step, amigos, warned Poquito Tito. We are but pulgas to her. We're not fleas, said Scapito. We are chihuahuas. And that wasn't all the doggies had to watch out for. They saw leones. Tigres and osos, oh my! But the most dangerous animal of all laid sleeping like a baby in his cage. Let's take a peek, Papito, said Scapito. Let's just take his traje, suggested Poquito Tito. Not his costume, declared Scapito, alarmed. Por qué? Because it will look mucho mejor on you, senor. Then they all raced like rabbits over to their dressing room. But the circus waits for no dog. So with the speed of a spitball, the Puchitos changed their Chico into a world-class circus perro con musculos. First, they gave him a, gave him a vitamina. Then they pulled on his new traje. It's too big, complained Gatito. No worries, Wolf Don Diego. We will pump you up. And pump the peros did, singing, Um papa lumpa palito will give you the muscles you need, oh, cause strong you must be for the triple TP, so we won't go all boom, tumbleito. Then it was the moment of truth as they floated Scapito out under the big top. Perros poured from every point and piled on top of the of Scapito's grande cabeza. Up, up, up they climbed until the until they formed a perfecto tower of tiny trembling chihuahuas. And beneath the tower stood the power, tough and shaky as five day old jelly. Just, but just as the pups were about to make circus history, Pootsy Strongleboot, the strong dog, strutted out into the center ring and bit the behind of his very own traje. Ole! shouted the crowd. Oh no! cried Scapito as the tiny trembling tower of power tumbled from his head. Ta-da! blasted La Banda as Scapito flew up into the rafters like a punctured balloon. <whistles> Woohoo! hooted the crowd as the gatito caught hold of El Trapacio. 
Then he flew through the air with the greatest of squeeze. The brave little cat on the flying trapeze. But just as he reached the highest point, Scapito let go and dazzled the audience again with a double twirly squirly twist onto the tightrope. But the tightrope acted just like a slingshot and thwap. It sent Scapito up, up, up to the tippity top of the tent. Then shoop, down, down, down he dove. Cabeza first into the cotton candy kitten ball cannon. Where Pootsie Strongleboot, the strong dog, was waiting to light the fuse. Drum roll, por favor, ordered Don Diego. Brrr, then, kaboom! El Scapito Frasquito, the great acrobatito, blasted out of the circus, out of his closet, and right out of his room. Smack a doodle do, shouted the kitty boy as he collided with his mama's head. Wow, exclaimed Jezebel. Where did he come from? He came from the circus, silly, said Jilly Boo. Later that night, after a piece of maple mouse pie, the kitty boy made up a rhyme just for his mama and delivered it with a most sincere bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and you're the bee's knees, because your cooking is smoking. Hey, did I just see fleas? asked Mama, beginning to scratch. Circus fleas, replied the kitty boy proudly. Circus berserkus, muttered Mama. Get your collars out, kittens. It's going to be an itchy night. I hope you enjoyed Skippy John Jones' Cirque du Soleil by Judy Schachner.